June 6, 1944. Allied forces stormed the beaches of Normandy, France in the D-Day invasion of World War II. Commanding the massive operation, General Dwight Eisenhower, who tells the troops, You are about to embark upon the great crusade toward which we have striven these many months. The eyes of the world are upon you. Years later, D-Day veteran Vernon Grosskup recalls what he saw on the beaches firsthand. The destruction and the death, the bodies laying all over. And it, uh, uh, in other words, I've seen death before, but this was uh, uh, the ultimate, as I'd say. 1982, in the Mideast, Israel invades neighboring Lebanon to drive out Yasser Arafat and his Palestinian fighters. Months later, Arafat and the PLO leadership leave Lebanon, relocating to Tunisia in North Africa. Israel withdraws most of its troops three years later, but holds a border zone in South Lebanon until 2000. 1985, in Brazil, authorities exhume a body later identified as remains of Yosef Mengele, the fugitive Nazi doctor. Known as the Angel of Death, Mengele performed cruel medical experiments on inmates at the Auschwitz concentration camp during the Holocaust. In 1933, the first drive-in movie theater opens in Camden, New Jersey. Drive-ins become a pop culture sensation across the United States in the first few decades after World War II. Today in History, June 6th, Camille Bohan in the Associated Press.